Hi, my name is Tom Simmons and I am an assistant commissioner here at the CIF Southern section. The purpose of this video is to discuss the importance of media relations for high schools. Why do we need positive relationships with our local and national media members? Number one, it gives the school name greater public rec recognition. Number two, increases the awareness of the athletic program. And three, generates community interest and support for a school as a whole. That lends itself to increased attendance games, increased recognition for individual athletes, makes outstanding achievements known on a community, state, and national level, allows athletes to have a greater chance of receiving awards, and increases interest in college recruiters to give athletes better scholarship opportunities. So how do we improve media relations? Let's start by reporting all varsity scores. Make sure to have a responsible person, assistant coach, faculty member, booster club member, et cetera, email scores after each athletic event. Report to all media in your coverage area, local newspapers, radio stations, television stations. Make sure you post your email address someplace on maybe your school website that's easily accessible for any event for local media to reach out to you. Always be prepared to report league and overall records for both teams when emailing scores. Most importantly, always report all scores to CIFSS Home and our scorebooklive.com first. Make sure your major daily metropolitan newspapers are in your coverage area and you know which ones are including in your school. Maintain accurate rosters for all varsity teams. Always include the following with those rosters, number, name, position, height, weight, year, and school. Always have programs for home varsity contests. Make sure they include complete and accurate rosters for both teams. Always provide programs at no charge to members of the media covering your event. Keep accurate statistics throughout each season of sport. Update each week. Report outstanding statistical performances when reporting game scores. Watch for CIF Southern Section bulletins and follow directions for reporting statistical information to the section office when requested. If you know the game is being covered in person, this may not be necessary. This is a general guideline for minor sports, which aren't regularly covered. I always provide a seat in the press box for our games at the scorer's table for basketball games and for working members of the media. Keep in mind that the press box and our school scores table should be reserved for authorized game personnel, your announcer, your spotter, your scoreboard operator, timer, stat crew, etc. Cheer and socializing should not be allowed in the working press box or the scores table. This is a working area. Always maintain a professional atmosphere. Schedule announcements. Make sure you schedule announcements in a way to gain media attention as well as provide the public with information they need to attend games. Complete schedules well in advance of each season. Release schedules to local media as soon as they become complete. Meet the CIF Southern Section master schedule mail-in dates to be sure your school is included. Create personal media relationships. Coaches, make yourself accessible to the media whenever possible, but know your limits. You are entitled to a 10-minute cool-down period after a contest. Use this. Don't try to answer any questions until you are composed and ready to concentrate. Remember, nothing is off the record. Anything you say can and probably will be printed. Try to set a consistent day and time when you can be reached during the week and make it known to the reporters covering your team. Assist reporters with statistics, records, and general information about your athletes. Student athletes, coaches should instruct players on the do's and don'ts of media interviews at an early team meeting. Review good interview techniques, straight and to the point. Be informative, don't ramble or get off the subject. Answer the questions asked. Stress the importance of good media relations. Remind players to stress the team concept. Prepare students to be ready when questions are asked and not fearful under duress when the situation arises. Player interviews on the high school level can be a great learning experience. They should be enjoyable as well. Set policy on player interviews and stick to it, where and when. Notify media of such policies. Maintain an accurate up-to-date list of coaches, offices, and home phone numbers. This is especially important for walk-on coaches. Provide this list to your regular media outlets. Here are some miscellaneous tips and ideas. Get acquainted with the CIO Southern Section Media Department at its services. Contact myself or my assistant, Program Coordinator Anita Fatma at 562-493-9500 or at anitaf at cifss.org. Report outstanding performances for your team and athletes. Provide information on school activities, facts on athletes, coaching milestones, etc. 
It's General CIO Southern Section Media Department Services. Communicate ideas for feature articles on coaches, athletes, or teams to local media. If you think one of your team members might be an interesting feature article subject, let your local sports editor or beat writer in on it. They are in consistent, excuse me, constant search of these types of stories. Answer all written requests for information about your program. CIO Southern Session schedule requests, playoff information forms, local newspaper, radio, and TV questionnaires, state and national questionnaires. Also maintain a file of information forms on coaches and athletes. These may serve as a valuable reference for which coaches or athletes are where from which coaches or athletes are not available. Forms should include age, height, weight, previous involvement in athletics, other sports, etc. Include home and work phone numbers for parents in case of emergency. Maintain a photo file of individual athletes. Schedule a media day prior to the season. This is an excellent opportunity to get photo requirements out of the way. Notify and invite all local media outlets. Have teams dressed in game uniform with accurate numbers. Provide complete roster, schedule, and additional information such as final stats and results of previous seasons. Call in your resources. Get the help you need. School journalism departments. They always make great SIDs. Make interested students into these types of SIDs. Involve students in keeping stats taking photos, etc. Reward them by taking them on a road trip, on or at banquet, providing them a letter of recognition. Request the school print shop to publish programs, schedule, media guide, posters, press releases, etc. Tap the booster club for assistance. Many parents would like to be involved. Provide the opportunity. Help them create social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, etc. and keep updated on a daily basis. Also, provide weekly top 10 polls, publication of CIO Southern Session quarterly bulletins, and maintenance of all-time CIO Southern Session records. Broadcast approval for these contests need to be required by the CIO Southern Session office.